Okay, here's what we have so far. If four and negative eight are zeros, that means that if we write the uh, quadratic function in factored form, that x minus four must be a factor, and x minus a negative eight or x plus eight might be a, must be a factor, and that there's some number out front that we don't know what it is yet, but we do know that when x is negative 6, y equals 8. So what we're going to do is substitute negative 6 in for x, 8 in for y, and solve for a, and then we'll have our final form. But just so you can see what's going on, here's a parabola of the form y equals, or f of x equals a times x minus 4 times x plus 8. There are the roots at negative 8, 0, and 4, 0. And if I change the value of a, those roots remain the same. But we want to find the value of a that allows the parabola to pass through that point, negative 6, 8. And it looks like I stumbled upon it accidentally. But let's go do it algebraically. Okay, so we're back to here. Stop sharing. <clears throat> and y is 8 when x is negative 6. So that, this first factor, I'll have negative 6 minus 4. Over here, I'll have negative 6 plus 8. So it looks to me like that's 8 equals a times negative 10 times plus 2. So I've got negative 20a equals 8. And if I divide both sides by negative 20, I get negative 8 twentieths, which if I want to reduce that by dividing by 4, that's negative 2 fifths, which if I want to write that as a decimal, is negative 0.4. Okay, and that's what I accidentally stumbled upon on uh, Desmos when I change the value of a. And so our final answer is y equals negative, I'm going to leave it as a fraction, negative 2 fifths times x minus 4 times the quantity x plus 8. And of course, the value of a determines whether the parabola opens downward when it's negative or upward when a is positive. Okay, and that that uh, matches what we did on Desmos. There you go. Hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions, post a comment.